So my question is 16 cores, if I buy for the next four years, will that hold me for gaming or do I need to uh, buy a new CPU after three years? Will the stock market go up or down over the next three years? That's really hard, Mike. We don't know what games are gonna be requiring. Will house prices go up or down over the next three years? I could tell you 20 years. I could even tell you 10, but I can't tell you three. And here's the reason why I use those as an example. You're asking a speculative forward looking question with a lot of variables attached to it and you want a hard answer. And I appreciate the support, thank you. I think that's the third time you've asked for clarification. Yes. There is no perfect answer for your question. Nope. What games do you wanna play? What is your definition of good performance? Everybody sort of has their own flavor of what they consider to be good. I have seen people post games, CPUs, GPUs, and resolutions and saying, it's fine. And I look at it and go, holy crap, that's awful. Somebody the other day commented that he was playing some game, I forget what it was, but it was one of the AAA games we tested recently. I don't know if it was Breakpoint or Division 2 or something, but he was playing it on like an R9 280 from 2012 and like an FX 6300. Oh. And he locked his frame rate to 30 frames per second at 720p. At and he goes, it's perfectly fine. At 720p? And I'm like, o okay. No. I can't argue with, well, but look, if you've decided that's fine, who am I to tell you you're wrong? I'm glad you found something that works for you. Enjoy your game. It. I don't need to make you wrong for saying that's okay. But when I give advice, I generally don't assume 720p, 30 frame per second locked in a modern AAA game to be the target. And if you consider that to be okay, fair enough. There probably are more people than we realize who are stuck doing that due to lack of upgrades, especially, you know, with, with you know, money being an issue for a lot of people, I understand that. And you just make do with what you've got, I understand that. But I don't target advice to that, partly because I'm running under the assumption that if you're asking me the question, you want to make a new purchase, you wanna upgrade, you want to improve your computer, so you wanna play a new game, you wanna know what you should buy, you aren't targeting 720p at 30 frames per second, or you wouldn't be buying something new. You wouldn't be asking the money, you wouldn't be asking the, the money spending question. You would just figure it out. You would just try different things until you found something that was playable. 720p? I couldn't do that. There, I played lots of games at 320 by 200 in DOS. I mean, yeah, 35 years ago. That's why I never did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you can find a detail and quality and resolution setting that works for a wide range of hardware. Mm -hmm. You can. I will say this, when you run out of graphics performance, when your GPU runs out of oomph, you can always lower resolution, lower detail, and generally address a lack of GPU power. But there, at some point that runs out. Now there's 480p at 10 frames per second. But, um, <laughs> no. I should tell you about the game Quake and the benchmarks that Cyrex put out to try to pitch their 6x86 in the 1990s. We're talking about 1996 here, 24 years ago, 25 years ago. Right. They did various tests between the Pentium and the 6x86, and they said, both. Uh, basically what they said is that um, both the Intel Pentium and the Cyrex 6x86 demonstrated a good performance across a variety of games. The Pentium was faster in some games, and the Cyrex 6x86 were faster in others. 
but in no case did either CPU fall below, these are the exact words in their official press release, in no case did either CPU fall beneath the smooth motion frame rate of 13 frames per second. Mark drop. 13? Yeah. 13. What do you think about them apples, chat? So, um... So 30 frames a second at 720p? It's Let's, amazing compared it's to amazing. what we used to deal with. <laughs> Y'all should try Wing Commander 2 on a 386. It can be a slideshow at times. That probably was running at 10 or 15 frames a second. That's why when I played it on my friend's 33 megahertz machine, I was like, I had no idea. Because I didn't, I thought the game would just run faster. What I didn't realize is to be able to fill in the frames in between mm. and produce smoothness. Smoothness. Oh my goodness. Smooth. So, yeah, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> Make sure Apple's are LED versions, exactly. 13 frames a second, better than your old Chromebook? Good God, okay. 